You're the one that makes my heart beat, beat. But it seems like it's skipping. You need to keep up, up, pace, pace. And give me more. Make sure the rhythm don't stop. Oh, oh you gotta keep moving. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Tonight, tonight, I'm giving all I got. Oh, Jay, you made me smooth. 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 Oh, Jay, you made
Spoken and shattered trees, visions of a Neverland where I can breathe in. left unspoken and shattered dreams visions of a neverland where I can breathe that I can believe in where I can be free and tell Yeah. 
Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody watching at home. Good evening and welcome to the first Broadway Versus. We are live here at Schubert Studios at New World Stages in New York City. And I am your host, the gorgeous, you're welcome, Amber Iman. Tonight, we are honoring the incredible the indelible, the incomparable, the iconic Lilius White and Andre DeShields. I am so excited, y'all, we are about to have a good time. Now tonight's event is produced by an organization that is near and dear to my heart, the Broadway Advocacy Coalition. And while we can promise tonight is gonna be a lot of fun, Tonight is also a fundraiser. Money raised tonight will go to support initiatives created by the Broadway Advocacy Coalition and the Cody Reynard Richard Scholarship Fund. Before we proceed, I wanna give you a little bit of information about both organizations. BAC builds the capacity of individuals, organizations, and communities to dismantle the systems that perpetuate racism through the power of storytelling and the leadership of those who are directly affected. We were founded back in 2016, and most people know us from our inaugural event, Broadway for Black Lives Matter, or our three-day forum back in June, Broadway for Black Lives Matter again, because some of y'all forgot, and that's okay. We are working tirelessly to continue to create programming that uplifts and celebrates our community. We have an Artivism Fellowship, a Theater of Change class that is going into its third year at Columbia University, a number of public forums, and so much more. I want to encourage you to visit our website, bwayadvocacycoalition.org, and learn all about the amazing work that BAC is doing in the community. Now, before we go any further, let's have a little video, a little cameo moment from a friend of BAC. Hello, this is Audrey McDonald, and I'm just here to say hello to Lilius and hello to Andre. You, you both mean the world to me, your talent, your artistry, your compassion, your activism, the way you inspired me when I was young, looking to come up into this business, and the way you continue to lead with your talent and excellence is something that I will always be grateful for. I can't choose between the two of you. I love you both. Um, and uh, I just wanna say to everybody out there watching, if there's anybody who has a dollar or two to spare, please go ahead and donate for the Cody Richard Scholarship so that we can continue to invest in our BIPOC students so that they can continue to change the world. Um, the world needs changing and we're gonna do it. So you wanted to meet the wizard. Let me tell you that you That was my BFF, Audra, thank you. She looks like a molten chocolate lava cake. Um, and we love her. Thank you for your love, Audra. Now, there's only one person who I think could tell us about the Cody Reynard Richard Scholarship, and that is Cody Reynard himself. Please help me welcome my friend, Cody Reynard. Look at us looking like two disco balls. Look at us looking blessed. How you doing, friend? Hey, friend. <laughs> you I'm look good. great. And let me just say, everybody in this building has had their nose hair swabbed several times. We are all COVID. We are all prayed up. We have fasted and prayed for seven days, so we are all safe. 
Yes, sir? Yes. Absolutely. Amen. So, Cody. Yeah, yes, absolutely. So, Cody, I want you to tell me a little bit about your scholarship fund. I know this is probably something that you wanted to establish for a long time, but what challenged you to create this fund now? Like, why did you start the Cody Scholarship Fund? Yeah, no, this has actually been uh, a dream of mine for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the time was now, you know. Um, and I feel like the biggest challenge that I probably faced while creating this was myself. You know, mm -hmm. when you um, when you dream about something, you get nervous about releasing it into the world, Absolutely. and you have to like um, encourage yourself to 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 do it. And I think for the longest time, I had to remind myself that my purpose is greater than your permission. Ooh, you know? wait a minute! <laughs> say that again for the people in the uh, back. You know, seriously, that's my my motto. Uh -huh. I say that all the time: is that my purpose is greater than your permission. I think a lot of times we we ask for permission to do things. We wait for someone to say, "I'll." Support support you we wait for someone to say that do it now yep. and I think I just needed to take the leap and people have been so supportive and I'm so grateful for that that's amazing Cody yeah. now about the actual scholarship itself what makes it different is it just money or is there more involved what will the students receive who win the Cody Raynard Richard scholarship there is money and there is a lot more um, the students will get a grant uh, they'll, they'll get a grant for the semester to use towards tuition to use yeah. towards uh, room and board yes. books uh, whatever they need we'll Love. pay that directly to the institution and then also they will go through a series of sessions with us so they'll get a, a mentorship aspect as well and each session will either focus on you know social and racial justice mm -hmm. so we can talk about racial equity within the theater um, so hopefully they can come out of this being positive change agents um, they'll also have um, a session on leadership so we can teach them how to access their voice and stand in their power at such a young age can I come to these classes maybe okay thank you Frank keep going <laughs> and, and then and then the last one will be you know uh, um, a session created special uh, especially for them so if they want to you know direct or if they want to choreograph or stage manage mm -hmm. or design or write a play we'll, we'll bring in leaders to, to work with them so they can access you know their greatness I love this now Cody our application still open can people still apply have they missed the deadline they missed the deadline oh, see? Um, you're, you're sleeping <laughs> you miss out the deadline was on um, October 25th but we will be doing this again this is the first year the first of many I hope so um, so we will put that information out when people can apply again and this is awesome because now we can just look forward to this every year amen students we just win it the way. because yes, you are creating yes. a pipeline from where to where I'm trying to honey. hello from, from wherever you want to go to wherever you need to go from the bottom to the top Let's thank go. you Come so on. much Cody yeah. you are excellent you. you are amazing and also I just have to say you yes. know um, I just have to express gratitude for everybody here today for everybody Thank watching, you. for you for hosting this, Thank you, boo. for BAC for for you know supporting me and embracing this scholarship. Um, I'm just so grateful. So so thank you. Thank you so much, Cody, yeah. for being here tonight. Thank you for inspiring change and for always exhibiting black excellence wherever you are, wherever you go. I love you. I love you too, friend. Thank you, boo. I'm gonna leave. Go have a cocktail. Bye. <laughs> now another video from another friend of BAC. So you wanted to meet the wizard. My name is Mark Shaman. I didn't write that, but I wish I had. And I'd like to thank the Broadway Advocacy Coalition for the work you are doing and for allowing me to pay tribute to the one and only Andre DeShields. I met Andre while we were both working with Bette Midler and the Harlots in 1976. 1976. Oh my God, that was a long time ago. And yet, here in 2020, Mr. DeShields remains a vital and exuberant contributor to the arts community. In the 1980s, Andre built a show called Harlem Nocturne that I was in. Every night, Andre would open a bottle of champagne before the finale, the way that my husband Lou is about to open this bottle of champagne. And he and the ladies of the show would take tasteful little sips while I, for the gag, would down a whole huge glass in one gulp. Hilarity ensued. I was never a drinker, so this nightly bit left me leaving the theater rather tipsy. And despite all that is happening in the world today, I still don't drink, but I thought I would recreate this moment, even though it's only 10 in the morning here. <laughs> and so here's to, oh, you gotta fill it to the very, very top. Okay. And so here's to Andre De Shields and to Lilius White, king and queen of Black Broadway, all Broadway, all things, forever may, oh no, you gotta fill it even higher. Forever may you both reign. Let me tell you that you've come to the right place. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mark Shaman, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mark Shaman. Now, we've heard about BAC. We've heard about the Cody Raynard Richard Scholarship Fund, and I know the question on everyone's minds who is watching right now, Amber, sis, how are you still single? <laughs> I know, I have the same question. The second question on everyone's mind is Amber, sis, how can I donate? I'm so glad you guys asked. Here's what you can do. Pick up your phone right now. If you're watching us on your laptop computer, open another tab. I know you got 39 tabs open, open the 40th tab. And right now, go to broadwayversus.com. That's broadwayvs.com. Scroll down, there is a gold button. It says donate, and donate every bit of pennies, dimes, nickels, quarter. No amount is too small or too large. Every dollar counts. Now, if you want to be even fancier, you can text GIVE to 332-208-9493. Again, that's GIVE, G-I-V-E, GIVE, and it will come back to you. That's real churchy. Text GIVE to 332-208-9493. Tonight, I, I mean, anytime, Lilius Andre sings a song, turns a phrase, and you feel your hand go up in the air, take that same hand and click on that donate button, guys, because we need every dollar that you have. We want to really help make a difference with BAC and Cody Scholarship Fund. All right, y'all. It's almost time. Before we start this versus battle, I want to give you a little bit of history for those who are unaware of what the versus battle is. Now, versus began on Instagram towards the beginning of quarantine, and the series was produced by prominent producers Timbaland and Swizz Beats. Now, the versus battle, it's like a reimagining of the old hip hop DJ battles from back in the day when two producers would battle it out to see who had the stronger catalog. Now, over time, these battles have morphed into more of a celebration of music, longevity, talent, art, and skill. And that is what is going to happen tonight. Each of our artists will play one song or a medley of songs, because you know we love a medley, per round for seven rounds. OK. Now here's the disclaimers, and I need y'all to listen up with your good ears, OK? You are not going to hear the whole song. You know why? Because if you know anything about Broadway, the songs be eight minutes long. They got three modulations. It starts with a teary monologue, and it's got three dance breaks. And everybody, we ain't got time for that. So you're going to hear your favorite two to three minutes. You know it's going to be a bridge, and you know it's going to be a high note, so you'll be just fine. Now, we also are not naming or claiming any Teddy Riley sound issues. However, if you know about Broadway, you know sometimes the show closes, and there's no cast album. Amen? Amen. Also, if you step into a show a year in, you might not get to record your song, right? So some of these songs are from the YouTube, America. And so the sound quality may not be A1, but it's still going to be pleasing to your ear. Amen? All right. If you are joining us on the YouTube, please feel free. I have a beautiful computer here. I am manning the chat. So hit me with your anecdotes. That's not the word. Anecdotes, your memories, your favorite Andre and Lilia stage door moments, your questions, all of it. I will be reading it and I'll read aloud some of my favorite moments for Andre and Lilius to hear. All right, y'all. I just want everybody to take a moment, stretch your legs, take a deep breath in because we're about to get started. Please help me welcome actor, singer, Dancer, director, choreographer, honorary doctor of fine arts recipient, National Black Theater Festival living legend, Bob Harrington Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Drama Desk, Adelco, Outer Critics Circle, Obie Award, Jeff Award, Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Award winner, Andre DeShields. Yeah. Hey. I want you to come on and ease on down the road. Ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a load. Ease on down the road. Oh. My God, looking uh -huh. fresher than the board of health, looking fine as wine. How are you doing, Andre? I'm Shields? doing all right, but listen. Yes. You know what the word on the street is? Tell me the word. That you're still single. You know what? Is and ready right? to mingle, Andre. Well, come on. Will you marry me? You know what, Andre? Let's talk after the show. Okay. Amen. All right. I want lots of children. Uh, listen, and I can give them to you. How about Shot Oh, my God. He'll but do it. Send the money in. Send hey. the money in. We're going to have a lot of children. 
<laughs> Before we get too out of hand, let's bring to the stage actor, singer, recording artist, your favorite muse, NAACP Award and NAACP Lifetime Achievement Award, Rosie Adelco Bistro, all the doctorate degrees, Outer Critics, Outer Critics Circle, Drama Desk, Emmy and Tony Award winner, Lilius White. Oh. Come on, Lil! Yay! 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 <laughs> Give it to Woo! us! Give it up! Give, Give it, it up, up, baby! Up. Look at you, Lilius White. <laughs> Looking young and fine. I see you, Lil. Thank you, you yeah. just, just for your uh, of course, just for me. Information. Right. Yes, ma'am. I'm still single too. And are you oh. single and, and ready to mingle too, Lilius? She's single now that since I divorced her. Huh? Okay. Yes. Good, good night. Okay. <laughs> Say, <have a> seat. <laughs> Wait a minute before yes. we sit down. Yes, please, Andre. A toast. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Please. Okay. I'm ready. To black womanhood. My God, Lilius. Amber, the goddesses of memory, imagination, and creativity. I'm Here a, we go. I'm a, I, I will drink. That, uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. A toast to the king. Yes, the king of Broadway. Yes. Come on. All bow down. <laughs> ah. Mm. And a little I'll drink to that. I say. I say. I say, and I'm in. Please have a seat, you lovely people. Here we go. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Y'all look good. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You look you look good too. You know, I pulled it out. And that little dress. I pulled it out for you, Lilius. Okay, let me get over here. Dress. Let me stand over here. Mad. Let me say before we get started, welcome. It is so good to see you guys. Thank you. I'm it's so happy. To be here. I'm happy. It's so good to be seen. It's know. good to be seen. It's good to be here with you all. I'm so glad to be sharing this space with you. And before we start, I just want to know how are you feeling? How are you showing up? How's your heart? How's your spirit? I'm as fine as wine in the summertime, y'all. Lilius? <laughs> I am feeling very much blessed and highly favored. Ish ba ba ba. Yeah. Now, Ooh, before he's we coming start. On the show today. <laughs> <laughs> before we start, I want to go back to the beginning and ask a question about your Broadway debut. Tell me what show it was, if you can remember what year. And what moment of joy do you hold with you from that time? If it was walking down the street for the first time and seeing that Broadway marquee, if it was calling home to tell your parents that you had made it, if it was cashing that first check, what do you remember most fondly about your Broadway debut, Lilius? Oh, mostly I remember getting out of the subway and walking straight away into the St. James Theater where <laughs> I was in Barnum, and there they had taken a picture of me, and there was a picture, there was my name there, and it was so exciting to get off that train from Coney Island, this, which is where I was living at the time, and walk up that street and be right there, boom, at my new home, boom. at St. James. It was wonderful. I love that. And what, <laughs> what year was that, Lillian? That was 1981. My goodness. Yes. That's beautiful. Thank Andre, you. do you remember? Oh, I can never forget. <laughs> My Broadway debut, I arrived in New York in 1973 when 42nd Street was the deuce. And for one dollar bill, you could buy anything or anyone you wanted. Mm. Wait I'm a being minute. being nostalgic. <laughs> okay, now, the show I was in uh -huh. was called Warp. The world's first episodic science adventure play. And the character I created was Alexander the Unconquerable, ruler of the sixth dimension. The show was a flop. But that's okay. Because I'm at the top right ha, now. Are y'all you writing go. this down? I just want to know. Take by notes. The, by the end of the night, I'm going to have a library full of notes. Well... If our hearts and minds are cleared, I think it's time. Is it time? It's time. Come on. All right, here we go. DJ, hit us with that first tune. Hi there, fellas. Hi. What you say? <laughs> this is little fat swallow. You know My mother's 285 <laughs> pounds of jam, jive, and everything. I did. 
What they got me in on play? this V this mess here this afternoon, so here it is. Watch out. One of my own compositions. I'm scared ain't of you. Yeah. And, and I, I ain't. ain't. If I should take a notion to, to jump into, into the ocean, ain't nobody's, nobody's business. If, if I do, 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 do. If I go to church on Sunday, Cabaret all day on Monday, ain't, ain't nobody's business, business if I do. do. And I say take all mine, honey. Take nobody's business if I do. If I give her my last nickel, they leave me in a pickle. Take nobody's business if I do. There ain't nothing I can do, no nothing I can say. That folks don't criticize me. But I'm gonna do what I want to anyway. And don't care if they all despise me. If I do, if I buy all the dress up for it, live to die before I'm born, it ain't no business, it ain't my business, it ain't their business, it ain't their business. It ain't nobody's business if I do. Yes, sir, absolutely. Come on, Charlotte. <laughs> when the band starts blowing, I feel alive. alive. I feel like, like say, what's your job, baby? How are you, baby? Is you in some kind of trance, huh? Where I'm a killer dealer with nothing on my mind. When the start to play in sweet songs, it beats me to the rocks. But when I start to play in swing songs, it beats me to my socks. How you, baby? I was about a little dance. You say you feel like trucking under the groove. You feel like pecking. Come on, let's move. I shiver the bop, boop, bop, boop, bop. One never know. Do one. I dreamed about a reefer five feet long. A mighty mess, but not too strong. Now you behind, but not for long. If you're a viper. I believe. Do we have a video, a special video moment from a friend of Andre De Shields? If not, we can chat. Dr. Du Shields, this is oh, Ken Page, your brother that? Ken Page. Ken is saying cool. how happy I am for all the wonderful things that have been happening for you. You know I am. But also to shout out for Cody's scholarship fund. If anybody hasn't, please donate. It's a very, very worthy cause and very, very needed. Also, shout out to Lilius. You know I love you too. Mm -hmm. But have a wonderful whatever it is you're doing. Come on, baby. <laughs> whatever it is you're you doing, have be a wonderful here. You one. Should be I just want to tell you I love you. And as we well know, mm -hmm. one never knows. One never knows. Do, Do one. one. <laughs> Oh, the sweet the thing. wonderful Kim Page. Yeah. Andre DeShields, can you talk to us about creating Ain't Misbehaving with that stellar cast? Can you talk about that moment? Yes, I can. Now, check this out. I had turned in my termination notice to The Wiz in August of 1977. Yeah, that was the year of the power failure. You remember that? Yeah, I do, very clearly. Okay. And my colleagues were saying, well, Andre, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. But I feel the universe talking to me. You got to let go if you want it to come to you, right? Yes. Next thing I know, I got a call from Bette Midler, right? Mm -hmm. The first time I had an opportunity to choreograph her harlots. 
So we went off to Vancouver, put a show together, came back to uh, the Copacabana, and then I got another call. And this came from Murray Horwitz, who said that he was working on a musical tribute to the great jazz giant clown, Fats Waller, and Murray and Richard Malby, who ultimately directed the show, and Luther Henderson, who wrote the orchestrations, would like me to come in and sing for them. This is when the Manhattan Theater Club was on East 73rd Street between 1st and 2nd Avenues. And its performance space was a 64-seat cabaret. So when I walk into the room, Ken Page, whom you just heard from, was sitting there. Amelia McQueen was sitting there. Nell Carter was sitting there. Irene Cara, I don't know that anybody knows this, Irene Cara was my first partner in Ain't Misbehaving. So it was just a matter they were looking for number five. Wow. Because that's the way to put magic in a musical work with an odd number of people. Mm. The fifth wheel will always give you some drama. My goodness. Okay. Can I just stop and say, y'all are getting history, choreography, notes, stories, moments, Everything. legs. If y'all don't hit that donate Everything. button, but now check this out. I'll say this, and then we can move on, I guess. Yes, sir. Because we associate Charlene Woodard with that How You Baby character and the, and the beautiful way she sang Keeping Out of Mischief. But this is how the universe works. At the same time that Ain't, uh, yeah, Ain't Misbehaving was going to move from the Manhattan Theater Club off Broadway, miraculously, in only four months, we opened there in December 77. May 78, we were opening on Broadway. Wow. Now, what happened? The universe says to Irene Cara, we want you to be in fame. Mm -hmm. So what kind of dilemma is that? Do I move to Broadway with Ain't Misbehaving or do I star in fame? So Irene went her way and Charlene Woodard saved the day. She wow. opened Ain't Misbehaving on Broadway. Wow, Andre. And has been on a journey of ascension ever since. Absolutely. And before we move on, we just want to make space for the lovely Armelia McQueen, who passed away just a month ago. Armelia McQueen. Armelia McQueen. We love sweet. you, Armelia. We love your sweet, sweet soul. Your spirit is still with us. Absolutely. And we're talking about you right now. One of the sweetest yes. individuals I've ever met. Me too. She was a magician. She was a shaman. Mm. She was a healer. Mm. She was a spiritualist. And she spoke Chinese. Okay? Okay. All right. So nobody messed with her because she'd go Hong Pong and maybe go, ah. You know what? <laughs> DJ play the next song because I can't. <laughs> that was not anti Chinese, y'all. <laughs> that was just a matter of fact. <laughs> Mama's 
still got it. <laughs> That's your competition, baby. That's Lydia's life. was the 25th anniversary of Dream Girls on Broadway. It was Come the 25th on. anniversary celebration. Come on. And it was right after 9-11. And so everybody was shook. But people came from literally around the world because they'd already bought these tickets in advance. They came. They came and they sat there and they cheered and they cried. My mother was there. Oh, no. My mother sat there like, that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Lillian? Oh, you don't know her? Oh, that's my daughter. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in the theater. And it was a special night because people came out to say, we are New York. Mm. We are New York strong. We don't care about no 9-11, no planes, no buildings, no nothing. We are here, and we're here to stay. And we're Broadway people. Yeah. So we know how to survive. Yeah. That night, that show right. changed my life. My God. But see, me. what you just did tonight is one of the best nights I've ever had in the theater. That was real. That was live. The temperature went right up yeah. in this room. Yes. I'm scared and of you. And that's what all of you can do. Mm. Just keep studying. Keep practicing. Keep believing in yourself. We're going to get back to that later. Yeah, yes, we yeah, are. yeah. Did the hands go up? All the hands went up. Okay. okay. Listen, before we go forward, I think there's another video from someone you both might know. Oh. I hey, Lilius. It's me. Oh. Oh. The, the Brenda Braxton. The Brenda Braxton. Tonight, you are one of the diva of divas, and I know you're going to have a wonderful time. I think it's so fabulous that you are lending your voice to Cody's scholarship program, the CRR. And uh, I thank you. I thank you. We go way back. Yes, we do. We go way. Okay, I shouldn't say too many way ways, but I love you, girl. You are the the most talented woman I have, one of them that I have ever met in my life, and I'm so glad to be your friend. Thank All right, you. have a fierce night. Thank you. Sing, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and everyone, donate to CRR. It's a fabulous yeah. scholarship program. Yeah. So make sure you donate. All right, bye. Can you hear me, Brenda? Because she just tore the roof off the mother sister. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that that was just round one. DJ, hit us with round two. I'm so excited. Yes, Hi there, round. fellas. Seven. What you say? This is a little fat swallow. My mother's 285 what? pounds Wait, of jam jar and uh -oh. everything. That's okay. okay. The round one was so good. They, the spirit wanted to hear we it again. We were just checking. We just <laughs> checking all right. to see if she's okay. still awake. <laughs> Sometimes you got to repeat, but that's all right. We're going to move on to round two. That's but all right. But this is the theater. We're used to Honey, things Honey, it's done live. Again. Right. It's but that live. was not a mistake. We meant that. That's exactly yeah. right. We can just look at it, admire the beauty of Lilius and Andre and myself oh, until we get it together. Come on, admire. I'm giving you a leg, America. Hello. Whoop. Hello. Uh-uh, she's giving you two legs. <laughs> 
for you it's a question that I've seen in the, in the chat a couple times yeah. and a question that so many of us up and coming trying to keep up and kids want to know talk to us about voice and maintenance when you were young and starting out in this business did you know did you figure it out how do you maintain are you a warm-up master do you just walk in off the street what is your secret do you have Where any Linda, did she say tell her about boys and maintenance voice, voice. Vo <laughs> she said voice voice Andre I said Boys. I can tell you about some boys too, but well, that's another show. That's round three. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. What I learned early on, thank God, was that you know, if you want to maintain your voice, you do have to do something. Mm -hmm. I went to the Blue Note one night to see um, Betty Carter. And I was this young 20 something college student and so I watched her set and I was just starry eyed and so she came to the bar to sit down and I sat up at the bar and I started to ask her about vocalese and vocal technique and she got so annoyed with me and she said you want to sing just sing so I learned that lesson from her but the lesson I learned for myself was in a show in college, I was playing a role that demanded that I uh, sang gospel. Well, I didn't grow up singing gospel. I grew up singing R&B. Yeah. I went to Catholic church. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, it's conspiracy to do it. It was all that. So I had to learn how to sing gospel. Well, I'm doing this show singing gospel. I'm not warming up. I had a real nice boyfriend at the time. Amen, Ooh. amen. So you so were I was, warming I up. Was, well, not that way, but I was spending a lot of time with him. Amen. And I wasn't really practicing my vocalese. I was, you know, I could sing. Well, about third performance in, my voice said, no. Mm. Cut out. The next day I had nothing. The next day I had nothing. So the director sent me to a doctor, Dr. Gramshire, God rest him. And he's a little old Jewish, German, whatever he was, man. And he says. See, we're getting deep now. I'm here. Chinese, he says, Jewish, ah, German. You have little nodules on your vocal cords. Uh, do you have a vocal teacher? And I said, yes, I have a vocal teacher. Well, you better listen to your teacher because if you don't learn to sing correctly, you're going to ruin your voice. You have little tiny nodules. You have to get rid of them. So this is how he gave me this, these tiny, tiny, tiny little pills. I don't know what they were. He said, take these pills, two weeks. Two weeks. You don't talk. You don't whisper. You do not talk on the phone. Completely silent. Your voice will come back, but then you have to get with your vocal teacher. Yeah? Mm. Good? Yeah. Good. Good. And that's what I did. Wow. And it scared me because my throat didn't hurt, mm. but there was no sound coming out. Nothing. Wow. And that taught me a very valuable lesson that if you want to keep it, you better take care of it. And, you know, Betty Carter was from another kind of era. She, she and all them singers, Sarah Vaughn, they didn't warm up. They didn't do all this. Oh, they didn't do none no. of that. Okay? But I had to. So I learned how to do that, and I do it to this day, even if I'm not singing anything. 
I do a little something in the shower every day. Because that's how you maintain. So that's how I maintain it. I do a little something every day. I try to stay in shape. Although, although this coronavirus had me sitting on the couch eating. Mm -hmm. Click, click. That's all yeah, right. Yeah, but mama, yeah. you are in shape. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. I feel good. <laughs> you look good and you feel I good. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, let's have another tune, please. <laughs> Oh, 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 that too. Turn up the volume. I was just a little nipper that it told me. Sign that thing down. Underneath your zipper can be lots of fun. When you get a little older, you'll understand that every woman in the world loves a big black man. And I ain't easily, I ain't even mad at Much fire, Andre the Shields. That's too much. That's too much. Well, I am the original big black man. Play on. Lucky so and so. As I walk down the street, seems everyone I meet gives me a friendly hello. Yes, I'm just a lucky so-and-so The birds in every tree are all so neighborly They sing wherever I go I guess I'm just a lucky so-and-so Through each night, I hurry to where you go. A home where love waits, I know. A home where love waits, I know. I, I guess I'm just a lucky so and so. I guess I'm just a lucky so and so. I'm just a lucky so and so. End of lesson. Ah. That's in Play On. I don't know how many people know or remember Play On. That was my first Tony nomination. All right. 1997. Yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Keep us rolling, DJ. <laughs> Come on, DJ. Oh, that noble feeling feels <laughs> like bells are peeling down with double dealing. Oh, brother, you, you got me. Me, I've got you. Sweet, 
fun uh-huh <laughs> amen okay but i used to have um there used to be a place called jezebel's what on do Ninth you mean avenue. jezebel's yes indeed but up the, across the street yes on ninth street ninth avenue and they used to deliver but there's a place that was affiliated with jezebel's that was across the street a little place i forgot what they called it but it's a jezebel's the owner of jezebel's her son had it Oh, right. Where you get a piece of chicken for a dollar. That place. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But before that place, there was another place. Another place. place, okay. Anyway, I used to order my food at places, Act One Places. And by intermission, my food would be there. So I'd get this announcement at intermission, Lilius, your food is here. And I would eat my food at intermission so I could do that number at the Because <laughs> you needed some protein for that. Needed some high-energy food for that. That's amazing, Lilius. But there was a lady that was outside one day, uh, outside the stage door one evening, and she was crying. And I, I thought something had happened to her, you know, 46th Street. Right. She sa I said, what's the matter? She said, that's just, that's, you just, you're, you're singing and you, you just move me. So I'm saying that to say, even with a happy song like that, when you're doing your job in the theater, people get moved, they get possessed, they get... Full. Ooh, they get full. Yeah. So put your heart and soul into it. Always. Always. You never know who needs that little spiritual upliftment who's sitting out there. Right. My God, the gems being dropped, y'all. Are y'all donating? Broadwayvs.com. Hit that donate button. DJ, keep us moving. This is so beautiful. Woof. So don't you ask me to stay, cause I'm showing You were always ready, but you is a dream You must have thought the miracles came easy to me Take what I give you and put it up on the shelf Cause now it's time for this here whiz to whiz on its spell And I'm whizzing But this is the greatest magic that you'll ever see If you blink more than one time, the kid will be gone And you will have to hook up the rest of your own And you know what I think about that? For you it's not about if, but your hand Cause when I leave the child, I'm leaving it all in your hand You know just who it is. It's not a bird, it ain't a plane, it's just a little old whiz. And guess who's on the top of that? Y'all got it? Oh, yeah. I'm talking about believing in him. Yeah. 
Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Got it. Lord have mercy. Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wasn't that fun to do? Now. I'll march my band. I'll be my Oh, don't oh, rain on her parade. The life's complexion, the cinder or the shiny apple love is high. I gotta try once, I got to fly once, only can I want to ride the sun. Oh, love is juicy, juicy, and you see, I've got to have my fight, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a cover. I simply gotta watch my heart's a trouble. Pocket, pull out some money. Come on, Andre okay. Shields. Broadway VS dot com. Scroll down, gold button, donate. That's what we're doing, everybody. Broadway versus. We are donating for BAC and the Cody Raynard Richard Scholarship Fund. Come on. All right, kids. We've meet, we've reached our halfway mark, oh. and I am going to read some comments and questions halfway from mark. our YouTube audience. I thought we were just getting started. I, it right. feels like we were just getting started. Okay. Right. Susan White says her favorite Lilius, favorite Lilius moment was waiting for Lilius at the stage door of the life. She was signing my playbill and the ink ran out of her pen. She ran all the way back to her dressing room and got a new pen to finish my autograph. Gail Turner says her Broadway debut was The Wiz in 1976 and Andre DeShields was her Wiz. Ah, Hearts and love to you. Come on. Britton Smith said Andre sat me down one day and told me to stop looking down for answers do like our ancestors and look up to the sky. Come on. Right. Michaela Bartholomew said Andre stopped me in the equity building one day just to ask how I was and what was going what I was going in for. I was so shocked he remembered me. He never he I was so shocked he remembered me. Never underestimate the impression you leave on people no matter what. S. Hunter said her favorite moment was meeting Andre on the street in February right before the shutdown. That memory is keeping her alive during this time. I remember that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Charles West said, I learned what it means to be consumed by the spirit when I saw a reading of The Princess and the Black Eyed Pea. Miss Lilius White played the role of the queen and she sang down. And she wasn't playing. She is the uh, queen. She didn't have time to play. Queen. Tasha Michelle says, I remember how proud I was being a little black girl watching the Tonys and seeing someone look like me. Lilius, that meant so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks. Now, here are a couple quick fire questions. Lisa asked, who are your icons? Who do you all look up to? 
You want to go? First. You go first. Okay. I look up to John W. Sublet. His vaudeville name was Bubbles. Mm. He was the muse for the Gershman's creation of sporting life in Porgy and Bess. I look up to Sidney Poitier. I look up to Paul Robeson. I look up to Jeffrey Holder. I look up to Yul Brenner, who taught me how to swagger across the stage. Come on, swagger. Okay. Now. Amen. There's so many people I look up to. And not all of them are ancestors. Mm. I look up to the young people who were marching through the streets earlier this year say it, saying, say it. Black Lives Matter. Matter. Yes. Because here we are at the intersection, and this doesn't happen in everybody's life. Here we are at the intersection of history and evolution. Mm. More often than not, history is ahead of evolution, or evolution is ahead of history. But right now, at this crossroads, they are facing each other off, down. It's a clash of the titans. And we are now all aware of that festering sore in the American culture that is begging to be healed. And the reason the coronavirus is here now is because the universe is using Mother Nature as its mouthpiece. And the universe is saying to us, stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Think it over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's time for all of us to come together right yes collaborate yeah. cooperate and start creating a new world Amen. there's no such thing as an old norm don't look behind you the future is in front period Pooh. i agree i agree we there is no norm, normal anymore we're looking to make a new world and we must if we're going to all survive it I noticed during this pandemic how the birds acted, because I live on a high floor and I see a lot of birds. The birds, the, the plants, it's like they had a little break from reality and the noise and the, the gook that, is, that can be the city. And so this is indeed a time for reflection, a time for rest, a time to stop and look, look in the mirror and look at each other and really dig into what's so different that makes us afraid of each other? Mm. What's so different that makes us not like each other? What is wrong with us that we don't like ourselves mm. enough to send love and spread love instead of something else that's not good? So I totally agree. Um, who do you look up to, Lillian? I look up to the people that have come before who didn't get as far as I have, like Diana Sands. Mm -hmm. I, I, I look up to uh, Diane Carroll, mm -hmm. who spoke to me one day in L.A., in a place called, uh, this place in L.A., and she said, what do you want, Lillian? And it set me on a journey to really thinking about what did I want to do. So I, I look up to people like Dinah Washington, who was oh, a fierce fighter and, you know, to a take charge kind of woman. I look up to my mother for, thank you, Mom, right. for putting up with my stuff and making sure that my brothers and I got an education that we were, you know, taken care of. Um, and she taught me how to not, not take no mess. Don't take no mess. And don't start no mess. Hey, don't start one, none won't be none. So uh, I look up to a lot of people that have gone before, and, and I look up to some of the young people that I know who are extraordinarily talented, who are actively working on their crafts. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I admire that, and I, I am always open for a talk with anyone who's willing to, to put themselves, you know, push themselves mm -hmm. to do what it is we do. Because this ain't easy. No, ma'am. No. And check this out. 
Let me break it down for the children. In spite of all that we are saying to you, it's most important to look up to yourself. Absolutely. You've got the power. Continue on your journey to be the best self that you can be. That's There's right. only one power in the world. Only one power. There are lots of attitudes. There's lots of forces. There's a lot of predispositions. Mm. There's a lot of prejudice. There's a lot of bias. But there's only one power. And that power is love. Love. The power of love. Absolutely. Let's move into a video from another friend of Lilius and Andre. Uh-oh. We got a friend. I've had the pleasure of knowing uh -oh. and working with Lilius White and Andre De Shields for many years. From Barnum, the Full Monty, Broadway Bears, and Halftime, they are two of Broadway's biggest and brightest Tony Award winning stars. Supporting them in my shows and others has always been my joy. Talent needs support to thrive. So join us in donating to the Cody Richard Scholarship so together we can support our youth as they chase their Broadway dreams. Jerry Mitchell, Round you're, five. Jerry Mitchell. you're good. You're a good white man. Let the demons cry, let the mothers weep, let the bullets fly, even if you must die, go back to where you belong, let the battles rage, let the demons cry, let the Too bad you can't sing, Diva. I don't know if I know this song. Once upon a time there was a railroad line. Don't ask where, brother, don't ask where. It was the road to hell. It was hard times. It was a world of guys and men. We're gonna sing it again. Guys and men, I, we, we got, got some guys, guys in the house, house tonight. tonight. See, on the road to hell, there was a railroad line. And there were three old women all dressed for sign. And they was always singing in the back of your mind. Everybody be
something about Hades Town. How you finding these people? You know I'm finding them. I keep them in my pocket. Okay. Oh. Um. There's so many things that I um could say and have uh, said to you. Um, working with you is one of the great honors of my life. Truly, you are filthy and fun and light and heavy. Um, I think watching you walk down the stairs in Hades Town is like one of the single great lessons about movement and grace that will have ever been uh, crafted for the theater. And uh, you are both a master and a constant student of life. And, um, and working with you is just the biggest joy. It really is. Um, and I continue to be delighted um, by and learn from you every day. Uh, so thank you for all that you are and all that you have done to fight and be all that you are. Um, and to everyone watching, please, please give to the CRR Scholarship Fund. Uh, I think it's extraordinary what Cody is doing. Our field needs it. Um, our field needs him and more artist technicians like him um, helping to lead uh, and form and forge the future of the American theater. And uh, I can't wait to work um, with everyone who comes out of those programs. So please give what you can. That's Rachel Chafkin, director of Hades Town. She's young enough to be my daughter, and I look up to her. Well, anything on your heart about your Hades Town experience, Andre DeShields? Yes. The universe recreates itself for our pleasure. It took me 51 years as a professional performing activist to get my brass ring, my golden trophy. 51 years of sowing seeds. And I finally had my harvest. You know how we say we reap what we sow? Well, I reaped my harvest last year on Sunday, June 9th, when I won that Tony Award. And it's not so much the award itself that is important. It is the recognition that one receives from his community, from his colleagues, from the people who have walked that journey for so long. And I want to because it means so much to me to have had that opportunity to drop that wisdom bomb when I spoke my acceptance speech. I'm going to share it with you again tonight. It's brief, but I hope it encourage, encourages you to pull out the credit card, to write a check, to go to that bottle of quarters that you've been saving and send it in. Here are my three cardinal rules for sustainability and longevity. Cardinal rule number one, surround yourself with people whose eyes light up when they see you coming. Cardinal rule number two, slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be. Cardinal rule number three, the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. So keep climbing. All I have to say is round six. Buckle up your seatbelts, kid. Here it comes. Come on, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Last my son, Kirk was on the road. He was a week and every week up in your nose. Just like 
like that. When you smile, the girls went wild with Ooh, so nice. So they slapped his face on every face, on every block. I'm from a hearing speed and royalty. I heard that catch word. Now do the wish and so much fun doing that, that Please, movie. Lilius, because the people are going to kill me if I don't ask you about creating that moment. So please. Oh, my goodness. It was so much fun. It was Cheryl Freeman, who mm. is just out of her mind and wonderful. Roz Ryan, who's just bubbly and delicious. Venice Thomas, who was the quieter of us, but baby, that voice. Mm -hmm. La Chance, yes. just the sweetness. Uh... Who am I leaving out? Am I leaving out something? Myself. Was it that? Was that it? That was five. That was it. That's five. five. Well, we had a great time. Harold Wheeler was our musical director. Um, we had a wonderful choir of people singing back up, including the best studio singers on the planet, uh, including Luther Vandross. He was Whoa. in the chorus singing what? back up. What? Yes. It was really an incredible, wonderful giving time everybody gave of their their energies and uh the, the the people who did the animation came to watch us rehearse they told us the day before the people are coming here to watch you rehearse so we we want you to look the way you want to look in the movie so i said well i want to look tall and thin <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i came in the next day with a white head wrap and, you know, whatever else I was wearing, but they got the idea that I wanted to be tall and thin because if you look at the posters, you'll see, you know, my, my muse is on top. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Alan Menken, uh, David Zippel. D David Zippel's words are just exquisite. I work with David Zippel, too, on, on uh, another Sh Cy Coleman show. Um, but, but it was just fun to do. And... It was so rewarding. When we opened, they closed off Broadway, and we had a Disney parade on Broadway. And it was just magnificent. The party was fabulous. It was fabulous. And I keep telling Alan Menken, I can't wait until you call me for another one. Right. It could be Hercules 2, or it could be you know, some other wonderful animated feature, but it's a really a great thing. And I've had kids who, who are now adults have come up to me and say, oh, I love you and Hercules. I love Hercules. People love Hercules. So if you don't own Hercules, go and buy it and play it and work on it mm -hmm. and study it mm -hmm. because those harmonies, those voices, getting those words out just in time with them. It's a lot of work. It is. And I want you to listen to how it's done by the LaChances of the world, the Venice Thomases, the Roz Ryans, the Cheryl Freemans, and the Lilius Whites, because we're giving it to you. Every time. Mm. DJ, let's keep it moving. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, there's a video. You know what? Sounds there's like a me. video, Lily's. I forgot one of my friends gave us a video. Oh, come on. Come on, friend. Hi, everyone involved with the Broadway <laughs> Advocacy Coalition. Um, you, I love that you're honoring our dear Lilius White. Lilius, I love you so much. Um, they said to mention some memories I have. Well, how, how, I mean, it's just an embarrassment of riches all the times we work together, of course, on Hercules, on so many different projects. Every time it's just with love and what can I say? I am, I'm proud to know you and I am so glad that you are being honored and it's, it is supporting the Broadway Advocacy Coalition new scholarship fund, which seems like a wonderful thing. And um, uh, so congratulations and love to all. And also congratulations to Andre. Yes. Bye everyone. Ah. Ah. This is the reason that black lives matter. <laughs> Swingers, oh, a jungle VIP. I reached the top, but had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man, cub, and stroll right into town, and be just like the other men. I'm tired of monkeying around. So where is that from? That, <laughs> that song, I Want to Be Like You, is sung by King Louis in Mary Zimmerman's adaptation of The Jungle Book from Roger Kipling's stories. And where did you do that fantastic show? At the Goodman Theater in Chicago and won my third Joseph Jefferson Award for that character. And we did it at the Huntington Theater in Boston and Schumacher from Tom Disney. Schumacher. Tom Schumacher would not bring it to Broadway. So mm. he can be wrong too. Mm. We'll have to talk to him about that. Please we shall. talk to him, darling. We shall. <laughs> you know that's the, that's the song that closes Act One. Yeah. As it should. As it should. As and, it should. And people told me that after that, they thought the show was over. Because it was. They were ready to go home. They sh and, they w and they left. <laughs> and they went home. You know, unfortunately, it pains me to say that this is the last round. This is the seventh round. Okay. Okay? So That's I, all right. I guess it's, e I guess it's even Steve. I guess it is even Love, Stevens. love. Uh -huh. Do we have to go now? Almost. We're going to play a little song first. Oh. Uh, you might be familiar with this next tune. Oh. Come on, DJ. <laughs> Ooh. I'm worn out and weary. I ain't no machine. My head hurts. My feet hurt. And everything in between. Oh, oh. 
oldest profession. I'm getting too tired and too Jail, y'all. You, you never, never meet anyone nice. I've done every, everything a body can do. But how doggone much can a body go through? I'm getting too old. I'm getting old for the oldest I'm getting too old for the say we're so proud of you and we love you and we're so inspired by you and we also want all the folks watching to make sure to donate to the CRR scholarship fund right Cosmo Cosmo says yes <laughs> love you madly I love you mm -hmm. Oh. Look at us chatting, Lil. Oh, Look at oh, all, Lil. Love you all. Tell me what you're feeling, Lil. I'm just feeling full uh -huh. and grateful. You know, somebody helped me. And that's why I'm here today. Because somebody helped me. Somebody believed in me. Somebody put their money where their mouth was for me. Because they saw something in me that was, that was worthy. This cause is a worthy cause. If you have an aunt, an uncle, a niece, a cousin, a little sister, a little brother, a big sister, a big brother, a grandmother, anybody that you think has a talent, uh, if you have a child who, who shows you a little bit of something different than anything you've ever seen, I want you to nurture that. I want you to encourage that because they may be singing loud and off key right now, but you give them a little training and give them a little direction and you'd be surprised how far it can go. I started singing on top of my grandmother's dining room table in Brooklyn, New York. My family saw something in me and they encouraged me. And we didn't have money for ballet classes. We didn't have money for that. But my Aunt Lilius was a dancer with the June Taylor Dance Company that was on the Jackie Gleason show, y'all too young to remember that. But she dressed me up, put on those pretty little socks with the lace on them, patent leather shoes, big bows and my little bit of hair. And they encouraged me. They, they promoted me. So if you have a family member, any age, any condition, any size, 
Don't be fooled. Encourage that because you never know. It could be the next Andre De Shields that you are promoting. It could be ne the next Amber Iman. Have get you out, seen this out. woman on stage? Get out, Lily. Okay, she ain't slacking either. Get out, Lily. I see you, honey. I've been on the stage with you. I yes, know we what's have. up. We played the same role one time, Lily. You remember? We yeah. both played Harriet Tubman. We played, we played Harriet Tubman. I was the little pigeon, little baby, little, you know, little duckling Harriet, and you was the real deal Harriet. And I teased her because she had on these long eyelashes. I said, Harriet Tubman ain't had no lashes on. <laughs> what Harriet, you doing with them eyelashes? L Lily, she didn't have to call me out like that. I was young and I was learning. But I yes. know, but that's why, that's why we're here. That's why we are here, To let Lillian. you know that, you know, you're blessed. If you get somebody yes. who's sitting next to you in the dressing room who says, don't use that color, honey. Use this color. Amen. The people that ain't misbehaving that I did, hey, Andre, they taught me how to, how to do makeup. They helped me. They said, that's not enough makeup. I was used to doing Dorothy. Uh, and Dorothy didn't have no makeup before yes. I did Amos Behaven. I did Dorothy. Anyway, encourage your artists in your realm, in your, in your vicinity. Mm. If there's a little girl across the street, and you don't like her, her mama because her mama's stupid, Give that child a book. Give her a tape. Give her a Broadway mm -hmm. album, a Broadway CD of a Broadway show. You never know how that can turn people around. My mother, my mother bought me show tune albums, and she brought me 45. So she kept me in the house with 45 so show tune albums, and I played every role in Annie Get Your Gun. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, no you, you can't. can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, all of that. <laughs> Let somebody's intuition flourish. Let their creativity grow. You can do that. And do that for yourselves. It's about creating community. It's about supporting and uplifting each other. Is that right, Lily? Yes, that's right. Yes. It's about that. And encouraging people who are talented mm -hmm. and gifted, encouraging that gift and doing whatever you can to make sure that that gift grows into something that's viable and, and, and usable and moving so we can start moving hearts in the right direction. Thank you for having a little girl chat with me, Lilius. Honey, you know I love you. You know I love you, Lil. You're my favorite. Girl, don't stop. tell me. You, you say that to all the dudes. No, I don't. Stop. I might. Okay. Amber Iman. Thank you, Lilius. You know, I I I was out here and I, I just told Andre I needed a minute of girl chat, but uh, Andre, are you back there drinking cocktails? Andre? Are you coming back? Andre. Andre. <laughs> So you wanted to be the wizard Let me tell you that you've come to the right place Shall I make you a frog or a lizard? You should see the strange expression on your face If the way I come on is frightening Coming on today, have you ever been kissed by lightning? Let me tell you, that will make you go away. I fly, and the magic of my power takes me higher to a level where the clouds turn into fire in the warmness of the fire. Just keep your eyes open now, and the magic you will see It will whistle on the wind as it emanates from me It's a strong and true vibration now, you can feel it on your skin So come and take my hand and we will dance Open the
choreography notes and tones for days. Yeah. Lord, have more mercy. Have more and more mercy Ooh, every day. Y'all got to bring the money up in here now. Listen, uh, let me tell you something, Daddy Andre. Daddy needs some oxygen. Andre, let me tell you something about that money. I just got a little note that said that we just hit, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, $25,000. Come on, people. Come on with the black bunny. Come on. That's wonderful. And I just want to know if maybe we can hit 30000 Guys, the, the link to donate does not stop when we are done. That link will be live. If you have been touched by what you saw and heard, if you have been moved tonight, please donate. Text a friend. Tell them to donate. This money is going to such a worthy cause. Look Every what we just penny got. of it. Every penny, y'all. Yes. We are not touching that. Not, not at all. No. We, we ain't buying nothing. Mm -mm. That's okay. Listen, before we get out of here, I need to thank a few people for helping make tonight possible. The Schubert Organization, our sponsors, Tom Schumacher and Dale Franzen, our entire planning crew and committee from Broadway Advocacy Coalition, Jalen and Cody and Christian, Rob, Drea, all of our crews, our PAs, everybody here who is pressing buttons and playing sound and cueing me and making us look good. We want to thank New World Stages, our music director, Sean Mays, everyone who made tonight possible. This has been such a beautiful night and a beautiful event. And before we leave, I just want to say, I want to pose a question to you all before we go, that Broadway is on pause, and there have been a ton of forums and IG lives and panels and workshops about dismantling the culture around the institution of Broadway, a culture that is at times toxic or exclusive or racist or lacks proper re representation. And a lot of artists are doing a lot of work that is overwhelming and exhausting. And many believe that a lot of things that are happening right now are just performative. And they wonder if anything will change. And I think about the two of you, and I know you've been through it all. You guys have been around and have seen and experienced and have seen a lot come and a lot go. You fought battles alone before there was social media, before you could call up somebody, before there was uh, amazing coalitions to provide support and guidance. And I want to know, Lilius and Andre, if you have any words of wisdom, any words of hope to a lot of people who are sitting home who have been out of work for a long time, whose hearts are heavy and broken, and who are looking for some light. Lilius? What I can tell you is to look for the little things. It's the little things that have kept me going through this pandemic. If you have an animal, study the way the animal breathes to improve your breathing. If you have a hobby, something that you may have wanted to try, now's the time to try it. And if there's anyone telling you that you cannot do, or you cannot be, now is the time to cut that energy loose for good. Believe in what you have inside of yourself. And we're going to get to that in a minute, too. But that now is the time to let go of anything negative and fill it up with something positive. If you want to start a book, write a book. Write it now. If you want to write a play, write it now. Write a song. If you're mad at somebody, Tell them about it right now so you can cut that energy loose and get on with being positive and steering your energy in the right direction. But now's the time to get on the ball. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Now. Andre? Amber. Lilius, brethren, there are some things we all know, but we just don't take them out and look at them very often. We all know that something is eternal. And it ain't names, and it ain't houses, and it ain't earth, and it ain't even the stars. Everybody knows in their bones 
that something is eternal. And that something has to do with human beings. All the greatest people ever lived have been telling us that for 5,000 years. But you'd be surprised how we're always losing hold of it. There is something way down deep that is eternal about every human being. And that is love. Love is eternal. Oh. Love, love is the answer. Can we sing this song together? Let's do it. The path that you must go Believe what you feel And know you're right The time will come around Where you will say It's yours It's yours Believe there's a reason to be Believe you can make time Stand still what you gotta do believe in yourself yes. right from the start believe in the magic Come that's on. inside your heart believe all these things, all these things. not because we took you here because you gave us that gift we would like to give a gift to you so for paving the way for your artistry your gifts your talents and your skills for your strength and resilience 
for often being the first and the only, for working tirelessly in an industry that does not always work tirelessly to support and protect you, for your brilliance, for breaking barriers and proving them wrong time and time again, for being unapologetically black and bold and beautiful, Come on. for your activism, for using your voice to uplift, educate, and encourage, for being continuous beacons of light, for all that you've done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will continue to do for years to come, we say thank you. So on behalf of the Broadway Advocacy Coalition and Cody Raynard Richard Scholarship Fund and everybody watching home all across the globe, I want to present you with the Broadway Advocacy Legacy Award for continued leadership in the Broadway community. Thank you, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you for paving a way. Thank you for making yourselves available. Thank you for your honesty and your vulnerability and your love. Now it's Corona, so I ain't gonna walk over here and give you this. It's gonna be at your house in a pretty blue box. I hate but, Corona, I and, hate and Corona. If it, and if it ain't there, I know where you live. Okay, <laughs> but they both sitting right over here in this corner. Oh and God. I just wanted to say on behalf of everyone here, the entire community, everyone on, we have been so blessed by tonight. The gems, the love, the choreography, the moments, the love between the two of you, you inspire us to be better. You inspire us to be excellent. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Well, I thank you. I thank you, Andre. I thank everybody. I thank everybody here. Yeah. And everybody at home. Because you are the inspiration to keep us going. You know, we still got it. We still got it. And we it. still want to give it to you. And yes. you're going to keep giving it. And we want you to have it. And we want you to feel it. Feel the love. Thank you. Thank you. And we, Thank we, you. we have really put it out for you. We are loving it. But we do want you to understand that there is a community of crew people. Yes. Seated in front of us, working just as hard as we have. Yeah, we don't do this alone. We yeah. don't do it in a vacuum. Yeah. It really does take an entire village of people to run a theater. There we go. And we need people in every aspect of the theater to keep it going, to keep it vital, to keep it fresh and new. Right. It also encourages people to work together, people who... Come, they come across their differences. They, they get over their differences and their prejudices. When you're in the theater, there's no room for that. So thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, everybody you. here. Thank you, everybody at home. Support your local artists. Yeah, right. And one last thing. You know, Broadway is resting now only because it knows it's got a lot of hard work to do. Yes. And we are better together. Okay? That's right. Thank you, everyone. On behalf of everyone here tonight, thank you for coming. Continue to lift as you climb. Donate. Call somebody, tell them you love them. It has been a wonderful night. Thank you all. DJ Q to music. Let's go home. Thank you, everybody. Thank you Have a good night. Everybody look around, because there's a reason to rejoice, you see. Everybody come out, and let's commence to sing in joyfully. Everybody look up. Be glad because the sun is shining just for us. 